Well, welcome back to the show. Well, do you ever feel tired, moody, and can't seem to get rid of those extra kilos? That's three out of three for me. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> That's hosting the Today Show. <laughs> yeah. There's a chance it's because your hormones are out of balance. And here to tell us more is nutrition, nutritionist and author Michelle Chevalier hedge Good morning to you. Good morning, Georgie. Just, Good morning, Carl. Hi, if, you, if you could, just start by explaining how hormones affect our weight. Absolutely. Thank you for allowing me to share this. So hormones, those sneaky little things that are happening inside our body, affect our weight and our mood and our energy. But let's just take the thyroid hormone. So thyroid, when it's sluggish, one out of four women in Australia have a subclinical thyroid condition. When it's sluggish or out of whack, we can look at food and gain weight. So really, really sticky and important that that's working properly. Cortisol, our stress hormone. If that's out of whack, we can say hello belly fat because we know stress that hormone is very much related to belly fat and the little muffin top. We also know that insulin, so we know insulin to be connected to pre-diabetes, insulin resistance, but when people have insulin issues, they are hungry and they are often very, very difficult to lose weight. And then there's a sneaky little hormone called leptin. Leptin is going to be a hormone that's in the news a lot. Leptin is a hormone that's really important to be able to regulate our hunger. And if we get leptin resistance, we're the kind of person that is constantly hungry. And there's more. There's to testosterone, estrogen. All those things are connected to weight as well. Okay, so then what do we do about it? So what we need to do is start to eat clean, real food. Unprocessed and unpackaged most of the time. So, for example, our thyroid loves things like selenium, right, in if found Brazil, in Brazil nuts. nuts. Yeah. Our thyroid loves clean proteins. Our thyroid works really well on seafood and iodine. And those things are not found in processed and packaged foods. Insulin, it loves slow carbs like this. Not no carbs. You know, anybody that goes on no carbs is going to really stunt their the health of their harm of their thyroid as well. But our thyroid loves slow carbs, clean proteins, avoiding hidden sugars. Insulin, again, loves slow carbs as well. Leptin doesn't really like fructose. And fructose is found in high sugary fruits, healthy smoothies, healthy muesli like bars. Like what uh, in terms of fruits? These are all low sugar fruits. So yeah. you can eat these kind of things in abundance. They're full of antioxidants, full of vitamin C, great mm. for our collagen synthesis, right? So I can go on and so on. So what are the bad berries. ones though? Mm. The bad ones would be high sugar fruits. And those, I never say, I'm never a, a, a nutritionist mm. of extreme because fruit should be enjoyed. But high sugar fruits will be your tropical fruits or your dried fruits. And in the 28 day rebalance, we talk about how to eat clean and how to eat in abundance. Never talk about deprivation. I think that anybody that starves themselves is doing themselves a disservice. More harm than good. Yeah, bring back the love of food. Yeah, well said. Um, this, of course, affects men as well, doesn't it? There's a real thing called menopause that um, has been a bit of a buzzword lately. Yes, absolutely, Georgie. Yeah, menopause, man boobs, all those kinds of things, right? So we always think about hormones and we think about women. But in the book, in the first um, part of the book, we have 10 different case studies, and two of them are men with insulin issues. Um, that are related to cortisol issues, that are related to testosterone issues, and it really affects their productivity, it affects their moods, it affects their brain fogs, and dare I say, it affects their libido. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Ouch. You've been warned. <laughs> um, how can a man fix those problems just by, by turning around the, the eating issues? Well, I think the eating affects everything, right? Yeah. So it underpins our mental health, our physical health, our emotional well-being. But we know that when someone's insulin is balanced, right, Right? We know that insulin can really affect testosterone. We know that insulin can also affect sleep, which affects testosterone. We know eating lean proteins and good quality proteins creates lean muscle mass. So the good thing about food is that it underpins everything. It underpins every cell, every hormone, every part of your body, your skin, your hair, your teeth. It's oh, so true. Geez, well, so nice so. And if you want more information, you can check out Michelle's book. It's called The Healthy Hormone Diet. Excellent information, Thank Michelle. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.